Hello, my name is Sharon Millen and welcome to my first screencast for Vector Tuts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a drop shadow effect using the appearance panel and the new options available in the stroke panel in Illustrator CS5. You can already create a drop shadow effect by selecting your shape and going to Effect, Stylize and Drop Shadow. However, what this does is adds a raster element to your vector art. If I actually show you by expanding the object and drilling down in the group, you can see it adds an image. And this is made of, out of pixels. Now I'm, I'm a bit of a vector purist and I like to make sure my work is 100% vector. So I'm going to show you a way how you can get around this. So first I'm going to copy and paste behind our shape. And going into the appearance panel, I'm going to add a half a point black line around it. Now I'm just going to round the corners and with CS5 you can now align the stroke to the outside. Now if you drill down into the stroke options you can change the opacity. I'm going to change it, the blending mode to multiply and the opacity to 10%. Then while selecting the stroke option there, duplicate the item and just increase the stroke weight. I'm going to keep on doing this to get the desired effect. So I'm just going to go up in half a point increments. I'm just going to take this all the way to four points. Okay then. Now I'm going to change the fill color to black. Then I'm going to change the opacity to multiply and say 55%. Next thing, while I've still got it selected, I'm just going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just position the drop shadow. And there we have, if we zoom in, our drop shadow effect. Now what you can do is go into the graphic styles and actually click new graphic styles so you can actually use this on future projects. Now if you want your drop shadow to be a lot more refined and less blocky you can just change the increments and the opacity levels of the strokes. Now I've done that with this one. As you can see, the strokes are at quarter of a point increments. Now using the same sort of method, you can create a vector in a glow. So I'm just going to remove this one for now and copy and paste in front. And I'm just going to add this already made graphic style. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it. And if we look in the appearance panel, instead of setting the stroke to align outside, it's aligning inside. And that is how you can create, using the same process, an inner glow effect. 